So I started working at I-24 News at the end of 2016, anchoring the rundown, and certainly one of the most memorable days would have had to have been May 11th, 2021, when it was decided that we would move the show down to Ashkelon uh, because uh, the conflict with Hamas in Gaza had started and there had been rockets fired at Ashkelon that morning. Someone had actually been killed there. So the station had uh, actually rented out the lobby of a hotel on the beachfront in Ashkelon. Uh, we went down there uh, and it was decided between myself and the field producer, Genny Bronfermacher, that if the air raid sirens went out during the program, we would continue broadcasting live. But there was a problem. The uh, uh, manager of the hotel said that for insurance purposes, we had to move down to the bomb shelter, which was in the basement of the hotel. Uh, unfortunately, though, we could not broadcast, get reception to broadcast live from down in the basement. So again, you know, I decided we would actually just uh, sort of continue the broadcast from the top of the stairs leading down uh, to that basement. So sure enough, that's what happened. About an hour to a program, the air raid sirens rang out. We're live in Ashkelon, air raid sirens are coming. I'm gonna ask the guests to start moving, please, to the air raid shelter. I also will be moving. I very calmly told people on air that we were moving uh, down to the bomb shelter. Uh, Evgeny then had a second camera uh, follow me and uh, catch me at the uh, top of the stairs going down to the shelter. Uh, and we continued to broadcast throughout that air raid siren in Ashkelon. Uh, we are now uh, at the entrance here to the air raid shelter in the Regina Hotel. It actually, the stairway leads down. The irony though is that was the only air raid siren in Ashkelon that night. And after I threw it back to the studio in Tel Aviv and Benita who was anchoring there, uh, they had about another 30 air raid sirens in Tel Aviv that evening. So they had it much worse uh, than we had it. But uh, it was surely a, a night to remember for myself and for I-24 News.